Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about breaking into the industry. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I'm finding it really difficult to get my foot in the door at this time. I've applied to about a hundred job postings on Indeed and LinkedIn. And although I'm still waiting to hear back from the bulk of them, the few that had that did have stated that I don't have enough experience. I think employers are not willing to take risks with inexperienced people like me. What can I do instead to stand out and get an interview or code test to prove myself? Was it always like this or has COVID-19 made things more difficult? I've made a f couple of full stack projects and have worked on my CV, but but is the market just unable to supply the jobs or what can I do? Appreciate the help in advance. So let's unpack this a little bit. Yes, of course, I mean, nobody's going to deny that COVID-19 and like the pandemic and so forth has had an effect on the job market. That's given any, any instability in the economy or in the world, in fact, is going to have an effect, usually a negative effect on the jobs in, well, not in all professions, but in quite a few of them. And you are in one of those professions where, well, it's not as bad as it could have been because there are professions that could be completely dec that would be completely decimated by the fact that there's a pandemic going on. IT is it's not great, but it could be a lot worse. But even so you should know that even before the pandemic and so forth, you would have had problems finding your first job. I promise you that much because it is usually the thing that is the most difficult for a software developer when you're starting out getting someone to take a risk on you and honestly this isn't this is not this it's no different guys for people who work in other industries i i used to go to school with this dude who was uh, he was a technical designer or something like that i don't know he was using like he, he wanted to be a design product a product designer where you or an architect practically and he s spoke the same story he's basically told the same story well oh so you don't have four years of experience well then we can't hire you because we only hire people who already know what they're doing and guys this sucks but this is the world we live in it is the same thing for literally every single company out there the only time that the fact that you don't have prior experience is not is going to be a factor uh, is if you go and take on a job where people don't actually care if you're really good at the thing that you do you mean if you want uh, a, an opportunity to work without any prior experience uh, you're you're pretty much going to well you could be a cleaner maybe and I'm pretty sure that even for some cleaning pro profession, uh, cleaning jobs, you would have like they would have a requirement of some sort. Guys, companies want to make money, and beginners usually don't bring in money unless you can somehow train them in a very short amount of time, or they're going to do something where, well, they're you know you you have two hands or you have two legs, like you can do this thing. And so for you. Uh, it's no different. It's the same thing if you wanted to be a lawyer or a doctor or whatever. Like it's, uh, uh, some professions have it easier than others, but everybody has the experience problem. So the thing that you are looking to do, and as this subscriber or this viewer was saying, he's been working on his CV. Now, what I find interesting about that is that, all right, so you state here that you've made a f couple of full stack products and you worked on your CV. What does that actually mean? Because the thing that you're going for is to build up the value of your CV. Uh, the the basic idea is that yes, you cannot yeah, you, since you're not getting your first job, you can't pretend to have experience you don't have. But you can try to bridge the fact that you don't have an experience to the point where someone is willing to take a risk on you. So what I usually suggest to people is that you can in, you can increase the value of your CV. Usually the best way to do that is with you know com a computer science degree or taking a lot of courses online if you're self-taught and so forth. Um, one thing that I really strongly suggest that you take a look at because if the f if you're if you're struggling to do to get any type of like even to get a coding interview or anything in terms of a callback well then maybe you should try doing some freelance work 
and even if you do even if you can't get anybody to pay you for your freelance work you can get hopefully someone who accepts some pro bono work because if you have pro bono work that technically is work experience that is something that you can put on your CV under actual work experience and that's something that you could get today like you could literally start doing that right this moment and you don't have to take on some major big projects I promise you you have probably more than a few friends who would if someone basically came and said hey do you want this free thing like a free website or something like that they would be open to that that in of itself is going to give you some weight to your CV you see the thing is saying that I have made a few full stack products that's great it enhances your CV but at the end of the day it is just something that you are doing to prove to whoever's reading your CV that you have some work experience and this is why I told, have told people before that portfolios and do demos and stuff like that these are good things there's no one no one's gonna deny that this is a good thing but it is not a guarantee that somebody's gonna care that's the, that's the tricky part about this because when you are proving yourself to an employer you don't know what they look at I can promise you there are tons of tons and tons of juniors out there who have like really elaborate portfolios and tons of products on GitHub. They don't. The employer doesn't care. They go don't. They they might not even check that stuff out because it's for whatever reason not something that they are interested in. Like they might just go directly down to your experience and see. Oh no, you don't have an experience. And then that that's the story. Like then your CV goes on the no pile. This happens. This is the thing. Like it's. Uh, it's similar to, in many ways, it is similar to being an entrepreneur or sales or marketing types of, type of person. You don't control what your consumer, your customer cares about. So you have to figure out a way to kind of make things leap off the page and make them feel like, like their first impression go and go, I'd like to get their first impression to be something that is like, yeah, this person is in a, in a maybe pile now, or we're going to reach out to that person. And if for whatever reason in your region, nobody really cares about how many extra demo projects or extra stuff that you're doing, then this is clearly not the strategy. Because if you have, I'm um, just going to assume now, if you've sent out apply applications to 100 jobs, and I'm not, uh, since you're saying that you're well waiting for the bulk of them, uh, I would be very surprised if you didn't get any callbacks. But if you don't actually get any callbacks, then clearly what is going on here is that you are, your CV is, I'm not saying not good enough, I'm saying that you don't have anything on your CV that, your com that the companies in your region care about. And so you have to ask yourself, what do they care about? And as I said, they might not care about your demo projects. They might not care about, I don't know, how many courses you've taken, or maybe that's the thing that they're looking for. If the only thing they're looking for is job, job work experience, then you have to find a way to gain some type of relevant experience on your own. And as I said, the best way for you to do that is to do freelance work. That is actual work experience. It may not be exactly the thing that they are looking for, but it is damn much closer than I don't know, making a to-do app or something like that, which might be the thing that you're doing right now. I don't know. So what I want you to take away from this is that it was even before COVID hard for a junior developer to get their first job. It very much depends on the region that you're finding yourself in and your background and so forth. This is a very tricky thing. It's not just for us developers. It's tricky for anyone who wants to do any type of work where most employers are looking for someone with experience because that is the thing that is from their perspective going to net them money and money is the thing that they care about so what you need to do is the thing that you've always had to do regardless of who you are i mean even back in the old days when you wanted to take an apprenticeship you needed something to prove to the blacksmith or whoever that yeah i should probably take this person who doesn't know stuff on train them and take my time and do that because they're showing potential there's some value for me in it and that is the strongest um, strongest thing that you can uh, argue for that you have something to offer and if the people who are looking over your CV in your region they don't really see the value in that you have a bunch of demo projects and stuff like that then 
don't make these things because it's not it's not helping you. Uh, sure, it might educate you a bit, but it's not getting you an employment. You might have to just look at all right. Can I do pro bono work? Can I be involved in community work? Can I do something that is relevant to the people who are doing the hiring? If you go with that route, you might actually find more results. Don't think about just doing the thing that someone on the internet is telling you. Try to think about, go about this as a salesperson. How do you make the sell? How do you get your CV to be interesting to the people who is reviewing it? And the answer to that question might be very different for you in your situation versus someone who is somewhere else in the world. You have to figure that out by yourself. Have a great day.